Boom. More than anyone, darling, you know that I had from the start. So build me up, build me up. Hey everyone, and welcome to my Glee cap of uh, the premiere of season three, The Purple Piano Project. Oh, I enjoyed this episode so much. It was so good, and it's back. Uh, so I thought I'd just go through what I... I made some notes while I was watching it, because I'm so cool like that. Um, so I'm just going to go through them. So, we had our, um, our Britney quote, um, which was brilliant. They had Britney back to her old quoting self, and we now have... I have purple rings in my bra. And then Santana coming back with, that's your nipples. Um, I laughed, certainly, because it's Britney. Poor, dumb, old Britney. She's just brilliant. And so funny, and such a brilliant character. Um. Uh, and then, oh my god. Mr. Shu almost said the S word when he was watching Sugar Mom. Uh, what kind of a name is that, by the way? But she did call Brad Hottie and gave him camera time, which I'm always happy for. Because Brad doesn't get, like, any recognition, even though he's, like, awesome. Um, so yeah, and she also called Asperger's Asperger's. I'm sorry, but it's not. Um, it's wrong. Okay. Uh, by the way, I love the new Quinn. She just looks so awesome. I just don't like the uh, the, the smoking and sunglasses that were like that big. I mean, no one needs sunglasses that big. Um, but yeah, I love her pink hair and her new dress style, and she just. She's brilliant. Um, I don't get why they just got rid of Sam Sadie's because, hello, they were like awesome. And then they like just bumped them off over the series. Could they not think of, you know, a current storyline? You know, that could have carried that on, but apparently not. Um, I did laugh at the Asian National Anthem with the Purple Piano, you know, where Tina and Mike were playing and she was like, I don't care if the clinky clunky National Anthem, blah blah blah, and it was so funny. <laughs> uh, Sue's back to her old and normal self. Um, Kirchhoff, uh, Alliance, I am loving, and I loved the little me and my Hagley flip that Emma gave Kurt, it was just brilliant, made me laugh so much, and I think we should get Kurt Shaw trending on Twitter. Um, Will should get over himself and start teaching some Spanish, because seriously, he's like gone a bit over the top, and I don't think, I think since I've been watching Glee, so that's from season one to now, uh, I, I think I've seen him teach Spanish twice, okay, and that's like 40-something episodes, and he's taught Spanish twice. And yeah, he's supposed to be a Spanish teacher. Go teach some Spanish. Ugh. Um, Wonder Woman, Superman, Emma and Will, I am loving because I love their little lunchbox bits, and I love them, because they're so sweet, and it's brilliant. I'm also loving Finchel, and how sweet they are with each other. I'm sad that Poxy's, um, have split, um, because they were pretty awesome, and, you know, it's sad. Um, and Will stop saying something I should have done a long time ago. I mean, seriously, do you really have that many, like, regrets in your life that you have, like, a million things that you should have done a long time ago? I mean, really, you say that, like, all the time. And really, General Schuster. What was that? What? Was what? Uh, yeah, I have a little problem. I mean, Wicked and Wizard of Oz is that 
Rachel's? Is that just like Kurt and Rachel's thing? Do they just do that for every single freaking song they ever sing together? Is that the only thing they can sing together or something? Is that the only thing they can agree on or something? I don't know. But, um, anyway, uh, I didn't see the point in the purple pianos because, I mean, does Glee really need a point in, um, just bursting out in, into song in the middle of the cafeteria? I mean, they do it all the time. And do they really need a reason to be doing that? I, I personally don't think so. Because they do it anyway, and so I don't see why they need the purple piano. Um, but I thought it was a nice idea. Uh, I loved Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead. Oh, it was so brilliant, and so upbeat, and a different way of singing it. And I really enjoyed it. And I really liked when, um... You know the line in the song where they're like, Witch old witch, the wicked old witch. When um when Rachel said the wicked old witch, Kurt was just like, Oh like <laughs> just sort of oh, okay. <laughs> no, I loved it. Um I think we should also get Glitter Bomb trending on Facebook because that was just not Facebook, why would you trend something on Facebook? Twitter because it was just so brilliant and yay Blaine um Kurt and Blaine they are finally in the same school and we get to see more Blaine and I loved his it's not unusual to be loved by anyone it was so fun and brilliant um well can I just say Blaine you're far too energetic I mean seriously calm the f down I mean he's just like looking around and blah. It was far too much bumping around and energy for me, although, you know, he's awesome. And, oh my god, it was Lindsay! Oh, I saw her and it was like, oh my god, it's Lindsay! Lindsay was brilliant. I loved her song and I loved her character and I'm excited that she'll be back later on in the series for her second episode. And she was just so brilliant, and I loved her song, and how she was saying, yeah, I'm better than you. Uh, it was just so brilliant. Um, uh, then they got on to You Can't Stop the Beat from Hairspray, which I kind of loved. I didn't like the bit where Rachel was just singing on her own, and it was all slow and stuff. Then they zoomed out, and you saw her horrible skirt what was that? I mean, I know Rachel's supposed to have terrible fashion and not wear, you know, great stuff, but seriously, that was, ah, uh, what was that? An, like an ankle long dress and, oh, it was wrong. Um, Mercedes did brilliantly with her Motormouth Maybell solo bit. Um, and I still love you, even though you broke up with Sam or something, and you now have a creepy guy who wants to have Coco babies with you, and yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy that Glee is back, finally, because I've been awaiting this, and I so did not watch this online, because I don't get spy. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. See.